All right. Okay, this is Jim coming to you live. Sorta. Of. If you're watching it later, it's mostly recorded. I'm gonna give you an idea of headphones. The XO7 Turtle Beaches. A lot of people love them. I do, especially. One problem with the Turtle Beaches. There's only one problem, and Microsoft Pair is a lot better when it comes to this problem. And this is my fifth pair that I'm going to have to return. So for anybody out there, this is just a complete heads up on the reason why I'm making this video. I want to show you why my light's blinding me. Okay. Right here, they break. These are wireless, by the way. That cord comes out of there. As you see, I got the extension. I got the extension on the back. Destiny label. Anyway, and that's the uh, Nyko fan. Uh, that really does help if anybody, you know, gets too hot. But, I mean, I do have an air conditioner right there. Anyway, but you see these sides? They're cracked. They're totally cracked open. So, what we're going to do... I've always had this problem with uh, turtle beaches. They always seem to crack on the sides because they're plastic. The reason why these are still working is because the wire inside of... See, I taped it just so it won't crack anymore. But the wire inside is like kind of set on a... Uh, on a, on a um, like a, like a, I would say a train. Ah, sorry about that. Like a steel. It's set in steel inside like this, and it runs that way. So even if the the plastic breaks on here, it's like wobbly. So it's like you can't see because the tape's on. I want to keep it on. So that's that. I'm gonna get to the next part of this which is the Microsoft headset. These are the Microsofts. I took off the uh, stuff that comes around it. You see the difference with this? They don't break. I'm gonna try to show you. It's hard to hold the camera and show you. But you see that? They don't break. The reason why is because that's a light steel that's not plastic that's a steel as you could see if anybody owns a pat and these are really comfortable they got pretty comfortable up here I like I said I had the uh, leather started to come off so I just ripped them off anyway I've had these since I've had the Xbox one so Right now, I'm just doing something with my uh, Xbox 360. So I just wanted to warn anybody out there who has a Turtle Beach, any kind, like the XO7s. By the way, the XO7s, I took back about three or four times. These are the Stealth 500s. I'll show you. As soon as I can pick it up. These are the Stealth 500 Turtle Beaches right here. As you can see, the light's a little blinded in a little bit, but I just want everybody to be warned out there that if you do get turtle beaches and that does happen to you, just take them back, save the box and receipt. Most likely, um, most likely nine out of ten times they're going to take them. Another thing, if you have the Xbox One headsets and you're comfortable with them, that's great. They won't great give you the greatest output, but you're still going to get one hell of a headset that's not going to break. Drop it, bend it. Because every time you put on your headset, what do you got to do? You got to bend it. You got to bend bend them like this. Bend, bend, bend. This doesn't break this part here. That's what always breaks. And I don't even know when they break. I'll just look up and I'm like, how the fuck did these break? Now, the ones I had were the XO7s, and I upgraded to 
the Stealth 500s were the wireless, and I didn't realize to check the plastic um, because I thought these ain't gonna break. They're two hundred and sixty dollars or seventy dollars, you know. So the only way to get a really good wireless headset. And the only one I can recommend, and it's the most expensive, they're around, uh, they're over $300 where I come from. I'm in Eastern, East Coast, USA, uh, is the MLG, their Major League Gamer headset. You see them in like uh, Comic-Con, E3, all that stuff. You want to get them, and uh, they have the steel around just like the uh, Xbox One does. And that's what I recommend because that's what I'm getting next. I'm trading those back in so I can get the MLG. I'll give you an update on that as soon as I um, open the box. I will open the box with uh, you guys live. And um, thanks for watching. I hope this video helps. If anybody has a problem or have had problems like this, write a comment below. I'll answer it. And if anybody's giving you problems about returns, I'll tell you the best way how I did it about four times already. And this will be my fifth. So I hope you, and get good with your GameStop or whoever you're gaming with. Make sure you get in good with them because you don't want to be a dick to them because those guys will help you out because it doesn't cost them shit just to return it and exchange it for the same price. All right, well, looks like I'm done with my download and I'm done with the video. Thanks for watching. This is Jim, Unikiller10, if you know me on Xbox One or 360. That's Unit, Space, capital K, Killer, Space, One Zero, Unit, Killer 10. Thank you. Add as a friend and follow on Twitch.